All right, everybody. Time for the big reveal. What on earth did Runner Creek Farm get in the mail this time? Let's find out. Remember, knife safety, you always want to cut away from yourself. Cut that one. Cut that one. Cut down the middle. Alright, alright. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, it's my favorite. It's a box in a box. Gotta love a box in a box. What is in the box that's in the box? Well, there's a little clue. That's a clue. Some of you may know seeing this, but I don't know. Let's find out. Set that off to the side. Let's get our box out of our box. All right, a box in a box in a box. All right, oh, and then more tape to cut. Now, I can just pull it off. In the box. That's in the box. All right. Well, we have ourselves another lid. Funny looking lid, right? Hmm. I wonder what that could be for. Mm hmm. What do we got here? Oh. Tubing. All right. What else do we have in here? Got more tubing. All right, all right. Let's see here. More tubing. Oh, oh. All right. Got a couple of little packages. Wow. <laughs> All right. Bam. There it is. So for those of you that don't know, this is a milk can. A stainless steel milk can, to be exact. A 10 liter stainless steel milk can. That's right. This is going to be for our... Simple Pulse Milking System. So, so last year we invested a little bit of money and we bought ourselves a Simple Pulse milking machine um, for milking the goats. Uh, it worked out great. They transitioned from me to machine with without any hassles whatsoever I milked juniper and sass last year um, they would give us about a gallon and a half a day of milk uh, which we turned into cheese um, yogurt I just drank it straight sometimes um, it, it just uh, it's really good actually I kind of liked it so this year we're gonna be milking four goats and we're also gonna be milking sheep so we decided once again to upgrade our system. Now we have this big, I think it's two and a half gallon uh, stainless steel milking can that's gonna hook right up to our Simple Pulse machine. This'll be for the goats. And then the smaller ones are now gonna be for the sheep because the sheep just don't give as much milk. And I think we might be able to milk maybe three sheep this year. We'll see. That's why we're trying to friendly some of them up. So. Basically, the system that we got um, did two goats great, but now it's going to do four goats, which I can milk two at a time. I just got to get another stanchion built, and I can switch right over and do the sheep with uh, just a little bit of cleaning. And then what I didn't know, which is stinking awesome and is going to save us a lot of hassle and time too and save us money in the long run, the wife got me an inline milk filter right there. So that's gonna save us a ton of time. How cool is that? I cannot wait to try this system out. I might even try it out today. So, I mean, just, just awesome. Just an awesome, awesome thing. I cannot wait. This is gonna be amazing. 
I am super excited. I cannot wait to do this. Wow. I did not know she was getting me this. I just beside myself right now with excitement. I don't even know how to use the doggone thing. Like, huh? So how exciting is that? Bam. Inline milk filter. New can. I don't even want to know what we had to spend on this. The wife did all that. I just cannot believe she got me that inline milk filter. That is so awesome. So what we were doing last year is we would milk down in the barn. Um, we wanted a contained system to help us uh, keep the milk sanitary. And then we would have to bring it up here and we'd have to get, uh, we bought paper filters from our local tractor supply company and uh, we'd have to dump the milk it through the filters and you know they, uh, because of the way we were doing it, you'd either have to cut the filters or fold them into a funnel and it just was a pain in the butt. And then it, it just was a huge pain in the butt. This is going to save us a lot of time and a lot of effort and I just cannot wait to use this. I may have said that already but I'm a little excited about this. I can't wait. So basically these are sheep inflators. Um, we had goat inflators are a little bit bigger because their teats are bigger and uh, so now we are going to be able to milk goats. We're going to be able to milk sheep. I cannot wait. I'm super super excited. Um, so yeah and then uh, I think I'm going to try and get this I'm going to get this sucker down and I'm going to get it cleaned up and sanitized and I'm going to take it down right now and I'm going to try and milk a sheep. You guys want to come along for that? Why not? Where else are you going to go? You're sitting at your desk or on your phone watching a video. Come on, Alex. Come on, honey. Come on. Hey, look.
Come on. this. It's okay. It's okay. There's green in there for you. Come on. Come on. There you go. Look. All right. Half the battle. Getting her in here. Stanchion. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Change of plans. Come here. There you go. Have some green. So, I'm not gonna bother with milking her today for a couple of reasons. One, I really need to just get her used to coming in here and it being a good experience to come in here. So I don't think we should do everything at once. It was kind of a mistake for me to think I was gonna do it. I got really excited about my inflators, but oh well, we got it, we got it set up. So I got her in here. Um, I got a little bowl of grain down there, so I'm going to go ahead and let her have a little bit of grain. But um, the other reason is because while trying to get her in here, I heard something next door. And I saw something next door. I, yes. Let's see what I saw. You're all right, Alex. You just stay in there. What did I see? Fig had a baby! <laughs> <laughs>